and the recording has started and uh you've no idea folks i've done this about 10 times this morning and didn't have this right didn't have that right but anyway i'm going to get down to things now i've got purple shirt on i've got stephen bear here i've got purple sympathy cards yes it's nearly a year since uh, i lost my dear wife and uh i met up with some folks last year in july and um they said they was going to do something for me i couldn't believe it well if you watched cuddle time last night you'll know what it's all about but if you didn't i've got them waiting in the wings yes i've got charlie and william live to talk to me now about a certain special bear hello hi steve hi uh and it's recorded yeah what what upsets, what upsets me now steve is that you introduced me as head bear before <laughs> And and now and now I'm just Charlie and Will, you know, because because this is take take sixty four in it. I think no, but you are head bear in my in in, in my eyes. So uh, I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not oh. being horrible, Charlie. But um, it says it on an email. It does say you know it says it in writing, so it must be true. It's official. It's got to be true. Well, do you know what, it's Steve? It's lovely to join you on this. Uh, we, we're actually we're Saturday, aren't we? So so the the yeah. um. The Cuddle Time Show hasn't yet gone out live to our audience. No. And so, therefore, you've not actually seen Babs Bear in the fluff yet. No, no. Um, no and I so, can't I wait. think we should, we should probably explain to everybody um, that this came about from uh, you came down to the Bear House last year, uh, back in June last year. And it was very shortly after losing. Babs um, to her very sad and, and sudden illness, and I said to Charlie, "That's really brave of Steve to to kind of come down and, and do something which you you both dearly love doing together, actually." And um, and so I said to Charlie, "Come on, let's let's go and take Steve out for a bite to eat. We can have a we can have a good old natter." And then Charlie, you take the story over from there. Well, after I think it was. Was it halfway through the main course or maybe when we started to get... I don't know if you had pudding. I can't remember. I know I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> but we were talking, weren't we, about Babs and reminiscing and saying how yeah. wonderful she was, you know, for anybody who's ever met Babs. Um, she was just a shining star. You know, she <laughs> it didn't matter where she was, where you met her, she was just there. It just shone out of her, her personality. You know, she was very passionate. She was lion-hearted she was so kind and and generous with her time and her as a person so it was very very easy to fall in love with Babs um and like I said I think anybody who met her knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say this you know it was just everything she did she did with gusto didn't she she was just she was never yes. half-hearted about anything you know she was just was always, full on. always full on but she was. But I could I could say that about the pair of you, Steve, to be honest yeah. with you. I think that you know you both lighten up the room when you when you walk in. And you know, I remember the very first time when I met when I met you at one of the trade shows, which I, I got subsequently banned from doing trade <laughs> shows, by the way, Steve, in the in the in the future. But anyway, um you're you're one of my favorite customers, and so therefore <laughs> I, I speak very nicely to you. Um but I I remember the very first time and seeing this kind of long brown hair and thinking who the heck is that and then she turned around trying all right mate <laughs> so, in, mate in. all right was, mate uh, she was truly striking like i say you knew when babs had walked into the room you know we're very you're very lucky to meet people like that there's not you know there's not very many instances when you get some news quite so memorable and sticks you know and babs was abs oh, absolutely that kind of person so Back to the story, we were having pudding. <laughs> so I'm going to start with that. And we talked to you about the possibility of creating something um, really in honour of, you know, rather than in memory of, in honour of, because, she, yeah. like I said, she was such an amazing person. And we were talking about possibly what the bear would be like. And we were talking about colours and things like that. And, of course, this is where we learned all about the purple, wasn't it? So, of course, Every we went purple. away I sat down with the product team and with some of the uh, designers at Charlie Bears and we were trying to come up with a perfect bear, you know, something that was suitable for Babs. So we know how much she loved to Disney. We know how much she loves the decorations. We knew she's like me. She liked her little bears. So we thought, do you know what? 
we kind of know what this is going to look like, but it's just getting it right. So I think William's now going to show you. Well, I'm just I'm just kind of hoping that the light is right in this room, but um, <laughs> I want to introduce yeah. you to. Oh wow! Look at that purple. <laughs> there she is. Wow. It's the right purple. That's proper Cadbury's, isn't it? That is proper it Cadbury's. Is. That is the purple one. Oh. And that's the one that she absolutely loved. Kitten weighted, absolutely gorgeous, but great because you can carry her around with you, Steve, as well. You know, she's well, going to live in your rucksack. I've got to tell you a little story, which I didn't tell you earlier. Uh, next week, we're actually going to Windsor Castle. Well, I'm going with my daughter, and she's going to be awarded one of the highest awards you can get in the Scouts. And um, we've got a VIP um, guest. We're on the VIP guest list to go for an afternoon tea. So I think we're going to be meeting up with Bear Grills, and I think it'll be a nice opportunity to take Babs along with me. So uh, oh, absolutely, be Babs what, and me. Just out, just out of interest, what is that award, Steve? It's evidently the highest award you can get in the Scouts. It was. Is like, it called um, the Chief Scouts Award? I, I don't know, Will, I must admit. But I know it's the highest I've, one you can get. I've got one of them. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> was a chief scout. Well, I think she's got it because there was um, a lunatic starting a fire and was in. Uh, his mother was inside and they shut the doors and uh, she alerted the authorities. And uh, that was what uh, she, right. she was actually with the scout troop as well at the time because it was down where they, they were. So. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, she's had some so recognition. Babs, Babs is going to come with you. So, so yes, we we launched our Babs last night. The wonderful, um, I'm saying last night. We're recording tonight. today. It's tonight. Yes. But tonight. obviously, this is showing. This is showing on Sunday, isn't it? So this is yes. after the show. <laughs> so, so you haven't met Babs yet, effectively, but you have now. Um, and so this is very confusing. Very confused. I'm very confused. <laughs> but the reality I'm, I'm, is that we. We, we filmed um, Babs in Pencaro House uh, last week. Oh, it was gorgeous. And it was absolutely amazing. And I actually alluded to the fact that Babs, the real Babs, would have absolutely have loved, loved Pencaro House. Do you know why, Steve? Because it had loads of rooms to play hide-and-seeking. <laughs> <laughs> or and, and one, one of the One of the things that I, I love about Babs is her kind of um her constant childhood nature yeah. and this kind of constant love for all things kind of uh disney and just just lovely kind of yeah she was like a peter pan that's the word i'm looking for definitely you know young I must say, do, you, young. do you remember the meal we had uh when we come down to before we started um the Store, it was the hubs, hubs, hub. I think it was called a hub or something. And uh, we had a meal that evening, and then we, she was on about the do to do's. Do you remember that? Yeah, but the uh, <laughs> there's some crazy times. I mean, you know, we had met, met quite a few, yeah, do to do's because it's actually it was like um, it was like a biscuit that went with your ice cream, it was like a little round tube and had a hole in the middle. They go, yeah. What's that for? and she picked out the ice cream and went, Do to do. Doobie doo, and that was called doo doo doos. That was it. I remember having them at the. That was at Lift. Was it Liftstown Hotel, just around the corner? Yeah. Lifton, Lifton yeah. Hotel. Lifton, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, Lifton yeah I remember it well. So yeah. So uh, that was another. I mean, she's always coming out with nutty things. As Babs was. I mean, she was just like proper, proper like life and soul of the party. Look at that. So tell me, that so is purple. He's. I tell you what, she is absolutely. St- Stunning in the film. I know. I know that yours are due to arrive this afternoon, aren't they? Into the into the. I'm shop, going to be seeing so. a, um, my driver. Actually, rang me up this morning, and uh, he said uh, I've got 24 boxes coming. So he wasn't too happy. I think he only was given four <laughs> minutes to deliver them. And so he said, "What I'll do is I'm coming at um, three o'clock today." So uh, yeah. So I've, I spoke to Julian this morning. So that order's on its way. And well, uh, I know I that Babs in the shop. I know that but Babs I won't be releasing her till tomorrow. No, that's all right. But I, we we know that Babs is going to be hugely popular with all of our collectors. Yeah. She's a lovely little yeah. bear. Um, she's about how many inches, Charlie? Probably around about eight to ten inches. Yeah, ten inches, tiny, I thought. Probably a tidy little thing. Um, but she's absolutely stunning with a kind of oversized bow. Um, she's very glam. She is very glamorous. She's that exactly the right colour, uh, the purple one. 
<laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her. I can't wait. Yeah. That is really yeah. like spot on. That is spot on. And the, yeah, the thing that's sure. nice as well, because when we spoke, because originally you was talking to me about maybe doing one specially just for me or um and I said no, I did want it to go out to all the collectors. So that's nice that the fact it's a poor store special. I like that fact and that everybody can get it and not just and the trouble is with the mowers, some people don't collect the mowers because of the expense. So it's an affordable piece, which is quite nice. I mean the thing is we we've always talked about being a family, Steve, and you know, this is true from the collector's perspective and from the retailer's perspective. And when people go through difficult times like you have, um, you know that you're supported by not only your own family and friends, but also in your work environment from, yeah. you know, the retailers are all absolutely behind you. All of the poor stores are, are so thrilled to kind of buy into Babs Bear and tell the story about Babs and your relationship and, and all that kind of thing. But also from a collector's point of view, you know, collectors want to be part of uh, that story and want to want to share in that story. And, and, you know, as Babs is such an important person within your life, within our lives, within other collectors, you know, like you said, we get over a thousand sympathy cards uh, from people. You know, that just goes to show that how, how much of a, a special lady she was. And so therefore, Doing something like our little Babs Bear in honour of her is, it, well, it's our honour. It is our um, honour. But it's um, it's been a pleasure as well. Yeah, like I said, just no, honouring her. You know, maybe lost Steve, but she'll never, ever be forgotten. No, oh, well, to be honest with you, it's not a day goes past. It really isn't. Uh, I know, like, mm -hmm. people, when they, they pass, you lose family and that. But I think when you lose a very close companion, it's a lot... I mean, people say time heals, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really feel any different than I did back when I lost her, and I was still like missing her, like you know, sons. But I say it's the fact of uh, me having the business and keeping this going. That's what she'd have wanted me to do, and I think that's what's kept me sane. Um, I think Absolutely. if I didn't have the business and support from yourselves and like from family, it's bit, that's what's got me through, and uh, still Steve, getting me through. Steve, you, you, you say keeping you sane. Um, I'm not entirely sure it is keeping you sane because I, no, you know, no, no, no. We, we've had <laughs> we've had many a call with you where um, yeah, it kind of goes goes a bit wrong and a bit a bit right. <laughs> I, I have to say though, Steve, loving the shirt. No, it's purple. You, you know, you know, you know. As as we've always talked about this, I'm always a big fan of your kind of clothing choices, and I feel as though I've I kind of let you down today we're just wearing a t-shirt no that's fine i'll let you backstage it's fine that's fine purple next time <laughs> it's fine no it's purple a flex next time for sure well, no, so, I no, think, what, um, go on. so we're gonna uh, go off and, uh, and and go and do some hide and seek with old babs bear now <laughs> this is definitely yeah, no, I, I'll, definitely I'll be honest you, i can't wait i'm so excited to uh, and um i'm gonna put them on sale obviously on sunday so uh, that's when they're going to be up on the website uh, yeah. i'm going to keep some back for family and friends obviously but i'm going to donate five pounds every bear that's sold and that'll be going to the south end hospice where babs passed so uh, i'll be doing that that's i mean it won't be a great amount but i mean you know every little helps so uh, listen absolutely every little helps to all of these hospices yeah. and um you know it's it's something which uh charlie and i did for when my dad passed we we supported a hospice up in leeds wonderful hospital up in leeds called st Gemma's, and they re they rely purely on donations and so therefore you know like you said mm. every little helps well i must admit i know like it was it was a hard thing to go through but the hospice really was the silver lining when babs passed because you know, it was like just the two of us and then the whole family was there at the end. And uh, if we'd have been at the hospital, it would have been nothing like it. it was, I mean, I feel, you know, really sorry for people that don't get the opportunity to go to a hospice. But we were so lucky. I really count myself lucky stars that that happened. And, um, well, we, we, we were all lucky to have known her as well. So, we and, and, that, and that's where we, we, where we should... Uh... Yeah. Now, ending on a highlight, I mean, you know, Babs was a... Full, full of laughter, full of fun, and I think she'd have wanted me to do the same and carry on having a laugh. And uh, as you know, I put Absolutely. the lightsaber away, so I won't be getting it out for a little while. Hopefully next week we'll be back to Nutty's times at Teddy Station. So uh, there you go. 
thanks will thanks charlie well after thanks ever so much thanks a million for doing this it's sort of made my well it's made my year made my year. it's a pleasure it's our absolute pleasure and know that we'll definitely be having a babs bear with us she's going to sit with me in my design room and i shall carry her around with me so she's she's always there so i'm gonna have a babs bear in the shop and then i'm, I'm sure she'll be at home as well so uh she'll be going backwards yeah. and forwards so uh yeah, I, pre I pre really appreciate that and uh, take her on her travels with us as well. But um, she'd be sitting next to Stephen now because I've got Stephen Bear there. Did he come out in <laughs> 2013, no, Stephen Bear? So, uh, he's, yeah, he's a fan of the secret collection. He's got, our, um, he's got our poor store badge on as well, Stephen Bear. So that's named, yeah, with a P8. So uh, they'll be sitting together in the shop. So uh, thanks again. Thanks a million. And uh, Right, I'm just going to uh, sign you off and uh, say goodbye to everyone. It's pleasure, and, uh, Steve. Lots of love, darling. We'll no, see you okay. soon. Here's to next time. Bye-bye now. Oh, that was great. That was a live chat there with Charlie and Will. Uh, done a lot for us there with the Babs Bear. I'm really looking forward to seeing that this afternoon. So uh, if you're watching this, this was a, re a recorded uh, version done on Saturday morning before the cuddle time show so um if you want the badge bear they're available now on the website so uh and don't forget five pounds from every bear we go into our local south end hospice thanks ever so much i'm gonna say bye-bye